Hello and welcome to the next module. Previously we covered the file menu and now we're going to cover in this module the view menu. Starting off with languages. This is a sub menu, this section over here. Anything off the main menu is called a sub menu. And we'll start off with languages here. Uh, you can select uh, any of the desired languages and you can switch the terminal interface to this language. Now for the language changes to take effect, you have to restart MetaTrader, just so you'll know. Next on the list, toolbars. Again, this is called a submenu for managing the toolbars. Active toolbars are checked. The selection of a toolbar allows you to enable or disable that particular toolbar. Let's go through a for instance here. Let's click this on standard and you see the standard toolbar disappears. Go back down and see it's not checked there. So we'll check the standard toolbar and pop that back up. And the same holds true for the other toolbars as well all along here. Line studies, charts, you'll see the charts toolbar disappears. Activate the charts toolbar and let's roll back down here to customize. And customize you have an opportunity to change some things here. And this is basically, this is set up for your standard toolbar here. If you wanted print preview you could either insert that or or you could remove it. New order, you can see here, you remove the new order and you close that, then new order disappears. So go back, go back to customize, and to insert, get new order back in there. And you can see new order appears again. And you can do the same thing with any of the others. You want to go back through and you want to uh, remove expert advisors, for instance. As you can see, when we go up here, expert advisors is gone. But we want to keep that in. Okay, so let's close that. All right, so let's continue on here. The status bar can enable or disable the status bar here and that's located in the lower part of the terminal window. The data bar let me show you this and that bar is a little bit down at the bottom here a little bit off the screen you can see the current profile uh, click to open a list so you can go back through profiles just like in the and we can see its default and default is listed down here at the bottom as well. Okay, let's move on to charts bar. Okay, and you can see it takes this part of way down here which are just the tabs for scrolling through the various types of charts. There we go. Okay, we'll pop back up here and now here we can go through each of these uh, the full screen mode now if you're in full screen mode it will keep these charts all the same size but you can still maximize these and have lots and lots of chart room so this is great you want to just do one a particular chart then wow look at that that that's great we got a lot of a uh, lot of room here to work and we can still also scroll through the various charts by clicking on the tabs at the bottom let's take that back to resize and what I'll do here is I'll hit F11 we'll go back to the standard configuration and we'll tile everything and we're back set and the default configuration here with the default profile. Okay, now you can do things uh, market watch, which is window to the left, 
completely disappeared. You can also use a Control M for Market Watch. The data window, let's toggle that back in. The data window here, when you click on any of the charts, the data from the chart pops up as well as the data from the indicators on that particular chart. So that's a that's a real handy feature right there. Okay. Pop back over here, go to navigator. And that takes the navigator menu down here out. T for terminal. You can see it takes that information away down here. Terminal information. For the strategy tester, if you're creating your own trading systems, which does take uh, more than just a small level of skill in order to do it correctly, but you can do that and test things and optimize them down at the bottom. Remove that, and we're back here again. That basically wraps it up for the view menu. Next, we'll cover the insert menu.